In this film adventure, I set out to capture a scene from my upcoming travel film on the city of Melbourne. Uh, cheeky wave. I wanted to capture Melbourne's strong sports culture. Oh man, I love that. That was, that was... It started with a simple idea, film a local running competition, which then evolved into going to the largest stadium here in Australia. And then I had to convince a business owner to let me film at their pub. But before I get into all of that, here is the result. Hi, I'm Phil and I make films. Welcome to my behind the scenes video, which is split into three parts. It's a bit cloudy, but that could be a good thing. This story begins in the early hours of the morning in the heart of the city. I was here for Run the Tan, which is a fast 3.8 kilometer running competition. And I thought this would be the perfect place to try to find a local sports atmosphere. Okay, there's a huge, huge camera curve a lot of people filming, um, which I guess was to be expected because it's quite a big event, but uh, yeah. Slightly intimidated, I got some air to recalibrate. I like to take this moment to remind myself what are the beats of the story, because I'm not gonna capture everything in this event. To think I'm gonna do that would be silly because you need a full crew, which is exactly what I've seen being done. And so I remind myself, okay, what are the beats of the story? What's the beginning, what's the middle, and what's the end? And as long as I can capture those three things, then I've got a story. Sounds like coffee has kicked in. <laughs> Back in the flow of things, I reminded myself that though the action is important, I didn't want to forget to capture the reaction shots because it's the fans that tell the audience how to feel. Returning to my bike, I went to the other parts of the racetrack to capture the middle beats to the story. Okay, it's pretty insane. I'm at the last 500 meters of the race and there is literally no one here, which is perfect because I want to do a tracking shot of the runners and everyone else or the crew who were filming at the, at the event are all focused on the finish line. And I think actually the most competitive part is the last little section where hopefully you can see a little bit of a fight to try uh, gain a place in the race. And with my gimbal, hopefully I can capture that action. Cycling with one hand whilst filming proved more challenging than I thought, but all I needed here was a couple good seconds. Then I cycled back to the finish line to capture the last beat of the story, looking for detailed shots and then capturing the winners. Yeah. 
Though this event had a great sports atmosphere, it was a very niche event. I felt like I had to think bigger, something that would show a larger crowd to make my scene feel more grand. And that's a wrap. I'm happy I got enough coverage and didn't let the other crew intimidate me by not filming my own project. All in all, good shoot. The solution to capturing a larger sports atmosphere was at Melbourne's largest sports stadium, the MCG. What's really special in Australia is that they play a sport called footy. It's the only sport I know where you can jump on someone's back and it'd be legal. The stadium seats up to 100,000 people, so when there's a popular team playing, there will be a big crowd. My goal was to capture the atmosphere. Using my strategy from the running event, I focused on getting the action and then the reaction from the crowd. But this time, I wasn't nearly as successful. I was far from the field, and it didn't feel right to capture any of the fans up close. There is a time and place for everything, and this wasn't it. That's why, on the way home, I felt bittersweet, because though I got some great shots, it all felt a bit distant. What I was missing was a more personal, up-close feeling. This is Ollie, an avid St Kilda footy fan. I met him when I first moved to Melbourne working at an agency. I decided to film Ollie because I wanted to capture a fan's perspective. Now filming him at the MCG was going to be very difficult in terms of permission. What we needed was the next best thing. I think I just got permission to film at a pub. So I was out on one of my film walks and the afternoon light was beautiful and I saw a sign, a retro sign, that looked, it caught my eye and little did I know it was for a pub. Once I realized this, I decided to go approach the guy who was changing the sign, who then introduced me to the owner, which then led to a conversation about doing a promo film for them in exchange to film Ollie there. So, ah, it's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. So this is how we ended up here, just before the start of a footy game. Getting a couple shots of Oli reacting to the start of the game, I focused on capturing the sports atmosphere in the pub. Now, most Aussies are super easy and approachable. So if you just explain what you're trying to achieve, most people are willing to help you out. Since I was also making a promo film, I needed to capture some kitchen shots. That's when I realized I was overlooking a key part of sports culture a pub feed. Once I started filming, inspiration struck. I realized I could use the chef's movements to create match cuts with the running segment. If I never decided to pitch my services to the pub, I would have never thought to include a pub feed into my scene. In the end, this was the promo film I sent over to the pub. This journey in capturing Melbourne sports culture takes off another scene for my travel film. I'm excited to tackle the next scene and get my passion project done. Till next time. <laughs>